Well, hello, my foodie friends. It's Anna Olson here, and I am so thrilled to be making my very first ever dessert from Uruguay. I've never visited the country, but when El Gourmet viewers voted for torta chaja as their dessert, I was really excited. So the first thing I did was go and look up. Okay, what can I find out about chaja to discover that it's a bird? But I get it because it's a fluffy, friendly bird, and when you see chaha with the sponge cake layered with meringue and cream and peaches and dulce de leche, it looks fluffy and inviting, and I know your friends and family are going to love this recipe. Now let's see if you like how I make it. It all starts with a sponge cake. I've already warmed my eggs in their shells. I'll add my sugar, and then I'll whip this on high speed until it's thick and frothy, kind of buttery colored. That could take up to five minutes. And you can't over whip your eggs. So if you're ever in doubt, keep whipping. It's up to you if you'd like to add a little vanilla to this or not. I'm going to add a little bit halfway through whipping. Now it's time to add the flour. There we go. When I'm making a big sponge cake like this, I line the bottom with parchment paper, but I don't grease the sides of the pan. As the sponge cake bakes, it sticks to the side of the pan, holding its height as it bakes. And you'll find you get a sponge cake that's nice and level on top. Now this bakes for about 35-40 minutes in a 180 centigrade oven. And look at how beautiful this sponge cake is. Nice and level. What I want to do is cut this into three equal layers. And when you slice a sponge cake, instead of going from one direction straight across, which you'll end up going up or down, keep rotating the cake as you cut towards the center of it. There we go. Now we have three level cake layers. Chaha is nine layers, so let me get to work. What I've done is made a simple syrup, so equal parts sugar and water that I brought up to a boil, poured over the peaches, and now I'll add my rum to that. And that way, the sweetness and the flavor seeps into the peaches and the peaches let out some of their juice. I'm gonna spoon off some of the peaches, so I'll use those for the cake, but I'm going to use the syrup to brush the sponge cake layers. And I've got a generous amount of dulce de leche. I'm not going to use quite all of this in the cake, but this is the good dulce de leche repostero, so it's meant for cakes. It's going to hold its shape and not drip or drizzle outside of the cake. I've got my whipped cream that I've whipped up. It's already sweetened with a little bit of icing sugar. Now let's talk about the peaches. I see most chaha recipes call for tinned peaches, or what I have here are frozen peaches. I have my meringue layer here and some piped meringue dots. Now this I made a day ahead and it's easy enough to do. What I do is I take four egg whites and I whip them on high speed with a little cream of tartar until they're frothy. Then I pour in 200 grams of sugar. Once it whips up on high speed, trace an eight inch circle onto a piece of parchment paper using a marker. You want to flip that parchment paper over so you don't get marker on your meringue. And I pipe a circle. So I'm creating a meringue disc. And then here they are, an even layer of whipped cream and then I'm going to arrange some peach slices on top. Do you have a particular way that you do chaha? Do you dice up the peaches? Or am I arranging them okay? Am I doing okay so far? Okay, the last brushing of the syrup. I'll just fill in the sides a little bit. Now I wanna give this a little time in the fridge to set up, that way the syrup seeps into the cake, the layers stick to each other, and it should make it easier to decorate in a little bit. My chaha has had a chance to chill. So now, something I'd like to add, I do love dulce de leche. I hope you agree. I'd like to put a layer of dulce de leche on top and then put the cream on the sides and decorate the cake. This is looking incredible so far. I can very much appreciate why this is a favorite dessert in Uruguay. And now I'll put the rest of the whipped cream into a piping bag with a plain tip, and I'll pipe some detail around the top. And I saved a couple peach slices, nice little pop of color. I'll put those on. And the finishing touch, some of those beautiful meringue dots. 
Boy, that really does make for a huge cake. So what do you think? Are you impressed? I have to say, I think I've impressed myself. This is quite an undertaking. It takes a little planning. I understand that a chaha would be for a special occasion. I'd love to hear when you like to serve or eat chaha for dessert. I'm not going to wait another minute. I have to slice in right now. What a great combination. The cream with the dulce de leche and the peaches. Mmm! Oh! It's the peaches that just take this dessert to a new level. Because you've got the light sponge with the moist syrup, the dulce de leche, the cream and the meringue. But then the peaches absolutely sparkle. I can't wait to visit Uruguay. I've heard such beautiful things about your country, but in the meantime, I will remain content eating a slice of chaha. Gracias. <laughs>